All right, I've held off long enough. Let's address the elephant in the room. Are we going to have an NFL season? J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! Welcome to Jets Talk. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Guys, we're talking coronavirus. This is something we have been trying to hold off. I was hoping we'd kind of get the go-ahead prior to this, but... With the NFL season quickly approaching, July 28th is when NFL teams are supposed to start reporting to training camp. Are we going to get an NFL season? What is that going to look like? So right off the bat, it seems like we're going to lose at least two preseason games. I don't think anyone's really shook up about that. The players are now pushing for uh, all the preseason games to be kind of thrown out. I think that's probably what's going to happen. I don't think we're going to get a preseason. I don't think they're going to want to risk anyone. Uh, for games that really don't have that much of an impact. Of course, you want to see what your players and your rookies look like, but by and large, you know who's going to be the starter just through training camp, and you don't really need to have these games. I probably would have liked to have seen some joint practices where players can go against other players, and you can sort of get a almost like a trial run of how this is going to work. I'm leery, to say the least. I think when you have 53-man roster, 53-man roster, that's 100 people right there, 106 people. Plus, you got coaches, medical staff, and everything right there. You're talking probably over 200 people all said and done to have an NFL game actually uh, operate. So I'm a little leery as to how this is going to work. <laughs> we just saw the NFL come out and say something along the lines of, uh, you, can, you can tackle each other for three and a half hours, but you can't shake hands and you can't exchange jerseys at the end of games. Initial thought, you know, that's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, absolutely makes no sense. Other thought is if you're saying that the NFL and the players are role models, maybe it's a good thing that they don't, you know, shake hands and, you know, have excessive touching after the game. I I don't know. That's me trying to, to kind of make sense of it. Either way, you should be allowed to uh, exchange jerseys after trying to tackle a guy. What's going on? Well, if you ask Jamal Adams, he tweeted out today, not having fans in the stadiums would be beyond whack. Let these fans decide if they want to show up and support. Have them sign a waiver and require masks. So if we're reading this correctly, Jamal says he would like someone to sign something and honor that by wearing the mask the whole time. Almost like signing a contract and playing the entire thing out. Am I right? Oh, thank you, Brett Spire, for uh, for tweeting that on Twitter because I would not have come up with that joke myself. But I don't know. That, that's very interesting. Not to mention, I saw a tweet. I can't verify it because I can't find it on Jamal Adams' Twitter thread anymore, so maybe he pulled it down, or maybe this is just me getting, uh, you know, kind of spoofed or whatever. But I saw a, a screenshot of Jamal tweeting out, ain't gonna lie, I went to the store the other day. I kid you not, I was in there for maybe 15 minutes. Man, I couldn't breathe, had to risk it all. I took that mask right off. I was in there sweating bullets. So if you're telling me Jamal Adams can't wear a mask for 15 minutes in a store, he's gonna expect fans to wear masks for three and a half, four hours in a stadium. I think that's probably a stretch. So what's the percentage chance that we actually get fans in the stands? Well, New York has already said we're not gonna have fans in the stands. That's for Buffalo, not for the Jets and Giants. Jets and Giants play in New Jersey, so technically we're waiting on Governor Murphy to make that call. I tend to think they're not going to want extra people around, not even just for, like, the player safety, but also just for, like, sanitary purposes. You're talking about escalator hand railings or, like, bathrooms. I know just from operating a business right now, it is not easy to sanitize everything you have to sanitize. And if you have 25,000 potentially really drunk fans trying to (laughs) interact at a stadium, could be a little tough for the logistics of the cleaning crew. What happens if Patrick Mahomes, the half a billion dollar man, what if one of his offensive linemen gets COVID? And now all these offensive linemen are basically touching each other and right next to each other. So now the entire offensive line has to quarantine. Does... Patrick Mahomes quarantine, or is he going to be playing behind this backup offensive line? If you're the Chiefs and Chiefs fans, I would rather have Patrick Mahomes sit out an entire season, forego the year, (laughs) and just know he's healthy. I don't want to risk his health behind the backup offensive line of the Kansas City Chiefs. Not happening. Now, the players and the owners have not come to an agreement on how things are going to work. The players just want to know, hey, what's going on? How are we going to do this? What are the safety precautions? Because they have families too. Because even though these athletes are in tremendous, tremendous shape, 
that doesn't mean that their wives, their kids, their mothers, their fathers, everyone that they're gonna be in contact with are in good shape. They could have underlying conditions as well. So how's this going to look? Why, uh, how are you going to handle the testing procedures? One of the things that has been discussed is an opt-out clause for the players where players can opt out of the 2020 season. That's something that I think is probably going to happen. You might get a few players that decide, hey, you know, not worth it for me. I have asthma like Von Miller or a player like that that decides, hey, let's let's forego the season. Obviously, I don't think you'd get paid for it. I don't know if that loses a year of, off your contract or if it gets added on in the back end. I'm not exactly sure how the logistics work on that. But that would make sense because then you would wind up getting a ton of hungry players that were not drafted or were undrafted free agents that didn't get picked up by teams that are now getting a shot and an opportunity to start or at least make an NFL roster. And from that standpoint, I think the NFL owners are going to want to do it because they're going to want this season to happen regardless. I mean, it's really going to take probably something over the top to really cancel the season. So guys, let me know what you think down below. Do the logistics make sense? Are we going to have a football season? Are we going to have fans in the stands? How does this all look moving forward? Don't forget, mask up if you're going to go outside. It's the same thing as a seatbelt. If you're in a car, you wear a seatbelt. If you go into the store, just wear a mask. Don't be a dummy. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, go Jets. Yeah!